A daycare option for those in need. I'm Taylor Gatoni at the Live Desk. United Way is working with Head Start to bring an accessible pre-K option to kids in St. Joseph County. WSBT 22 News at 5 starts right now. First, fast, accurate. You're watching WSBT 22 News at 5. T22's Taylor Gatoni is at the Live Desk and Taylor United Way is already looking ahead while they break ground. The nonprofit has ideas for a second pre-K location. There are no specifics yet, but they say the southeast site will be used as a model for the northwest site. Laura Jensen, president and CEO of United Way, says the first thing they need to do is understand what people need. 170 vendors of entertainment and over 120 bushels of apples. That'll get you some yummy donuts. And the race is getting started in three, three two, two, one. Another Notre Dame home football game today kicks off at 2.30 against Purdue. I'm Taylor Gatoni. I'm going to be talking to some tailgaters coming up. And we're actually here standing in front of Santa's house. And I'm here with one of his helpers, Kylie Carter. You're dressed as an elf. What is going on at the gridiron? The money goes right back to La Casa to help keep funding for the community. But we have another WSB team member joining us this morning. It is Johnny Garrido. All right, now you're running the 10K. Are you excited? How did you train? Kristen, we have Samurai Santa here. We're getting in the holiday spirit. That's a perfect tip for people, especially when you're talking about pumpkins and Halloween, you're talking carving. Now you've got some really big pumpkins over this way. You call it Big Jack. It's opening day at Trader Joe's. I'm Taylor Gatoni live outside the store where in just hours the doors will open. And people should look out for you on the streets because you're going to be blowing past everyone, right? Yes. <laughs> All right, thank you. you. said earlier it was $150 to reserve one of these. You can bring up to six people. If you do some simple math, it's about $25 a person. We are here at Herb's tailgate, and this is the man himself, Herb. Tell me about this tailgate. When did you start it? You've expanded over the years. Oh, definitely expanded. Gates opened not too long ago at the Elkhart County Fair, and people are already getting hungry. I know I am, especially with these mini donuts that just melt in your mouth. Mmm. Are we doing this for fun? Are we putting a little competition into it? I think fun. Mostly I think fun. fun. A little competition. <laughs> Until we hit the streets. You get to do some shopping, you get the drinks, but let's head outside because there's a lot more to experience. We don't want to see all these fish popping up along the river. Where exactly is this happening? You know, the river goes a long ways, but it's only going to be in that 20 foot radius in a portion. Right. Alice, who is helping out with the farm, and there are four new activities happening. Right, you're saying it. This is a weekend long event. You started yesterday. It goes until tomorrow. People can bring clothing donations, money donations, but you're really trying to get that experience of what it's like to be outside in the cold. Get ready to scream as the Nile Scream Park opens tomorrow. I'm Taylor Gatoni, where it all started coming up. Santa, you love cookies, and I know there's going to be plenty of that here today. A local psychotherapist says if you don't release strong emotions like stress and anxiety, it could spill over. But she says there's several simple ways that you can release those negative emotions. He said that his girlfriend heard about a dozen shots being fired. And as for himself, around 11 last night, he saw the body go into the ambulance. Regardless if you're eligible for the vaccine or not, I spoke to a local doctor and he says that's because everyone is at risk. If you take a look at those who are eligible to get the vaccine, then 59% of St. Joseph County's population is fully vaccinated. The lead investigator said that a 20 year old woman is dead and that a male adult has minor injuries. Now we're going to take a look behind us because the accident happened just a few hours ago and you can still see the destruction. You can take a look. This is where investigators spent most of their time trying to find evidence. It is unsure right now if they were able to find anything related to the investigation. Target's Black Friday goes through tomorrow, but more holiday deals are starting Sunday. Coming up. They're going to ask me a question. I'm going to answer that question. Weekend. This is the weekend. We set our clocks back one hour before we go to bed on Saturday night. Hey, Taylor, what's up? <laughs> How much? What time was that? I think, well, I don't really need to walk. Why am I trying to walk? There'd be no purpose. FAFSA. 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 But I want to say FAFSA. A little stumble, a little stumble. Coming up just ahead. Okay.
<laughs> into a four person slide, a grain. Say that's right, we are at. Gridiron. Uh, I'm trying oh. to play on a word with oh. Santa. The man oh. in the big red suit. Oh, We're here at the. <laughs> see, now you're working. There you go. Look at this. Got a hook. It's getting too much now. I'm saying too much. Am I clear? I hope I'm clear. Okay. How was that? Good? Awesome. Okay, right, great. Thank you.